Actually, there's been a lot of different things about this so-called super series uh, coming up. Um, I think our understanding from the releases that have been put out, there are going to be, or they're saying, six events this year. Um, is that also how you, how you hear it? And I think just to try and explain to the people who don't understand what it means, for example, for the Volvo China Open in terms of the players and, and how can it work in terms of splitting up the field? <clears throat> Well, it's just surprising that it's only an announcement made by the <clears throat> by the Australasian Tour because basically when they made the announcement, Volvo or the European Tour were not informed of it, and and uh, especially like like for us and uh, you know out of the six tournaments that they announced, four tournaments has been with the Asian Tour, especially like the Volvo China Open since its its inception in 1995. It's been with the Asian Tour then <clears throat> and. And pretty much Pine Valley and the May D Classic were tournaments that 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 the Asian Tour had had been approached and had 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 brought it to to fruition. So, you know, for for the, the this new uh, Super Series to just uh, come in and pretty much uh, put a series without without the knowledge of the sponsors and the promoters or being forced into a uh, a concept which is not, not, not really in, uh, you know, it, it hasn't even started yet. Is is something to question about? I mean, right now, as as far as we know, <clears throat> this uh, One Asia concept uh, Super Series has no player criteria, and 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 uh, there is no commercial platform that that's been asked since uh, even at the federation meeting two weeks ago. Pretty much the federation had asked for it and. Basically, <clears throat> the Australian tour weren't able to answer any questions. So, you know, what for our, our stance is the same with the Japan stances. I think before any new concept is to start off, this it's got to be the process has to be you know, and the platform's got to be properly structured and, and in agreement with with everybody, or else, uh, well, we we feel that it's just going to be detrimental uh, to the whole marketplace, and that's the last thing we need. Uh, with with the way the economy is uh, at the moment. But how do you react to, you know, there is a strong argument for saying um, if this part of the world is one day going to have a tour to rival the US tour and the European tour, it has to be everyone should come together. Australia, Asia, Japan, Korea. Uh, is that something that's workable or viable? Well, right now it's already has been, uh, the way I see it as Asian tour has already come together. We have tournaments in China where, we were the ones that brought in Pine Valley, Meidi, you know, Korea. We have three tournaments in India. You know, we brought in new tournaments as Asian Tour, and and when we had talks last year uh, with the various parties trying to work this one Asia concept out, we set that in agreement that if they bring in new sponsors, it has to enhance. Meaning, the minimum prize money's got to be about one point five two million dollars, and uh, new sponsors that are not in in the marketplace yet. That will show if, if, if the new concept uh, will enhance the whole region, including the Asian tour and all that. But right now, to take our events away from us, we feel that it's, it, it's, it's um, basically it's, it's either invasion or, or hijacking our tournaments. You know? So um, I, I think things should be taken slowly. We're, we're happy to, to try to work things out. <clears throat> but... Um, the way it's going about, we just feel like uh, it's, it's, it's a detriment to the growth of professional golf in the region.